eyes and saw, and behold, there stood before the river of a ram which had two horns, and the two horns which were the one higher than the other, the higher came up last. I saw the ram pushing westward and northward and southward, saw that no beast might stand before him. Neither was there any that could deliver out his hand, but he did according to his will and became great. And I was considering, behold, as he goat came from the west from the face of the whole earth and touched not the ground, and the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. And he came to the ram that had two horns, which I had standing before the river, and ran into him the fury of his power. And I saw him come closer into the ram, and I moved with a collar against him, and smote the ram, and baked right his two horns, and there was no power in the ram to stand before him, and he cast him down to the ground, and stamped upon him, and there was none that could deliver the ram out of his hand. Therefore he got waxed very great, and he was strong, the great horn was broken, and forth came up four notable ones towards the four winds of heaven, and that out of one of them came forth a little horn, which waxed exceedingly great towards himself towards the east, towards the pillars in the land, and it was waxed great even to the host of heaven, and they cast down some of the coasts of the stars to the ground, and sent upon them, and he magnified himself to the fence of the host, and by him, while the daily sacrifice was taken away, and the palace of the sanctuary was cast down, while the host was given to him against the daily sacrifice by reason of transgression, and I cast down the truth to the ground, and practiced and prospered. Then I heard one saint speaking, and another saint said, unto the certain saint which spake, how long shall the vision concerning the daily sacrifice and the transgression of desolation to give both the sanctuary of the most hidden trodden underfoot? And they said unto me, in the two thousand three hundred days, and they shall be sanctuary cleansed. And it came to pass when I cried, even I, Daniel, had seen the vision and saw for the measuring. Then the Lord of the stood before me as the appearance of a man. And I heard a man's voice between the banks of Uli, which called and said, Gabriel, make this man to understand the vision. So he came near where I stood, and when I came, I, I was afraid, and fell upon my face. I said unto me, understand, or throw a man before, and at that time, and shall be the vision. Now as he was speaking for me, I was in the deep sleep of my face from the whole ground, but he touched me, and set me upright. And he said, Behold, I will make thee know, that being the last end of the indignation, for at time I pointed the end shall be, the same ram, and what first thou sawest, having two horns, are the kings of Media and Persia. And Rough Goat is a king of Grecia. And the great horn that is between the eyes is the first king. Now that being broken, whereas four stood up, four kingdoms shall stand up out of the nation, but not in his power. In the latter time of their kingdom, when the transgressors are come to the fall, a king of fierce countenance and understanding dark senses is just stand up, and his power shall be mighty, but not by his own power. And he shall destroy wonderfully, and shall prosper and practice, and shall destroy the mighty and the holy people, and through his policy also shall pause that claps the prosper in his hand, and shall magnify himself in his heart, and be destroyed. He shall destroy many, and he also shall stand up against the prince of princes, and they shall be broken without hand, in the vision of evening and morning, which was told true, is wherefore shalt thou up in the vision, and shall be for many days. And I, Daniel, went to a surgeon, sick of certain days. Afterward, I rose up and did the king's business. I was astonished at the vision, but I understood it. Chapter 9. In the first year of Darius, the son of Ahasuerus, the seed of the Medes, which is a king of the realm of Chaldeans. In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by books the number of years where the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah, the prophet, that he would accomplish seventy years in the desolations of Jerusalem. And I set my face unto the Lord God to seek my prayer and supplications with fasting. I sat cloth and ashes, and I prayed unto our Lord my God, and made my confession, and said, O Lord, the great and dreadful God, keeping the covenant and mercy to them that love him, and to keep him and his commandments. We have sinned and have committed iniquity, and we have done wickedly and rebelled, even by departing from the precepts from my judgments. Neither have we hearkened unto the servants the prophets, which speak in the name to our kings, our princes, and our fathers, and to all the people of the land. O Lord, righteousness belong unto thee, Run to the confusion of places at this day to men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem and unto all Israel that are near and are far off through the countries whither thou hast driven them because of the dreadfulness they have trespassed against thee. For the Lord shall us belong of confusion of faith to our kings, to our princes, and our fathers because they have sinned against thee. The Lord our God belong mercies and forgiveness, though he have rebelled against them. Neither have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God 
to walk in the laws which he set before us for the servants of the prophets. Then have we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God to walk in his laws which he set before us by his servants, the prophets? Yea, all Israel hath transgressed Allah, thy law, and might depart, and they might not obey the voice. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us, and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of God, before we have sinned against him, and hath confirmed his words which he spake against us, against our judges that judge us by the bringing upon us a great evil, for under the whole heaven hath not been done as hath been done upon Jerusalem. As it is written in the law of Moses, all the evil has come upon us, that we made not our prayer before the Lord our God, that we might turn from our iniquities and understand that the truth. Therefore hath the Lord who watched upon the evil and brought it upon us. For the Lord our God is righteous, and all his works which he doth. For we obeyed not his voice. And now, O Lord our God, I have brought thy people forth out of the land of Egypt, and with a mighty hand. And we obeyed the voice of the Lord our God, and to walk in his laws, which he might set before us by his servants, the prophets. Yea, O Israel, have transgressed the law, even by departing, that they might not obey thy voice. Therefore the curse was poured upon us, and the oath that is written is in the law of Moses, the servant of God, because he hath sinned against them, and he hath confirmed his words, which he spake against us, and against our judges that judged us, by bringing up upon us a great evil, for the honor of the whole of heaven hath not been done, as hath done upon Jerusalem, as is written in the law of Moses, all the evil is upon us. Yet we made our prayer before the Lord our God, and we might turn from our iniquities and understand thy truth. Therefore hath the Lord washed upon the evil and brought it upon us, for the Lord our God is righteous in all his works which we have for we obeyed not his voice. And now, O Lord our God, that hast brought that people forth out of the land of Egypt with a mighty hand, and hast gotten thee renowned as, a, as a, this day. We have sinned, we have done wickedly. O Lord, according to thy righteousness, I beseech thee, let thine anger be thy fury be turned away from thy city, Jerusalem, the holy mountain, because for our sins, for iniquities, fathers, Jerusalem, and thy people are become a reproach to all that are about us. Now therefore, O God, hear the prayer for thy servants and thy supplications, and cause thy face to shine upon the sanctuary that is desolate. For the Lord's sake, O my Lord God, Incline thine ear, and here open thine eyes, and behold our desolations in the city which is called by thy name. For we do not present our supplications before thee for our righteousness, but for the great mercies. O Lord, hear. O Lord, forgive. O Lord, hearken and do. Therefore not for thine own sake. O my God, for thine city and thy people are called by thy name. And the whilst I was speaking and praying and confessing my sin in the sin of my people Israel, and presenting my supplication before the Lord, my God, the holy mountain of my God, yea, while as I was speaking in the prayer, even the man of Gabriel, whom I had seen in the vision of the beginning, being caused to fly swiftly, touched me about the time of the evening oblation, and he informed me and talked of me, and said, O oh, Daniel, I am now come forth to give thee skill and understanding at the beginning of the supplication of the commandment came forth, and I am to come through thee, for thou art greatly beloved. Therefore understand the matter and consider the vision. Seventy weeks are determined upon thy people and upon thy holy city to finish the transgressions and make an end of sins, to make reconciliation for iniquity, and to bring in everlasting righteousness, and to seal off the vision of the prophecy, and to anoint the most holy. Know therefore that I understand ever from me the going forth a commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem to the Messiah, the prince, shall be seven weeks, and three score, and two weeks, and the street shall be built again, and the wall even in troublous times. After three score and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself, the people of the prince shall come, shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and then there shall be with a flood, and even then of the war desolations are determined. And he shall confirm the covenant of many for one week in the midst of the week. He shall cause the sacrifice of the oblation to cease, and where there was spreading of abominations, he shall make it desolate. Even the consummation and the determined shall be poured upon the desolate. Chapter 10. In the third year of Cyrus the king of Persia, a thing was revealed unto Daniel, whose name was called Belshazzar, and the thing was true. For the time of winter was long, and he understood the thing, and his understanding of the vision. In those days I, Daniel, was mourning three four weeks. I ate no pleasant bread, neither came flesh, nor wine in my mouth, neither did I know myself at all, until three whole weeks were fulfilled. In the four and twentieth day of the first month, as I was hidden in the great rivers, which had a call, then I heard it on my eyes, and looked, and behold, a certain man, walking and running, whose loins were girded from the board of open paths, 
his body and his life for burial, and his face was the appearance of lightning, and in his eyes his lamps of fire, his arms of his feet like color to the polished brass, the voice of the words like the voice of multitude, and I, Daniel, alone saw the vision for the men that were with me, saw not the vision, but a great quaking fell upon them, so they fled to hide themselves. Therefore I was left alone, and saw this great vision, and there remained no strength in me for my comeliness, and turned to me corruption, and I returned no strength. Yet heard I the voice of his words, when I heard the voice of his words, then was I in deep sleep on my face, my face towards the ground, and behold, my hand touched me, which set me upon my knees and upon the palms of my hands. And he said unto me, O Daniel, a man greatly beloved, understand the words that I speak unto. And said the bread for unto thee, am I now sent? And when he had spoken this word unto me, I stood trembling. Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day thou didst set thine heart to understand and to in thyself before the God thy words were heard, that I have come from thy words, with the prince of the kingdom of Persia within me, stood once for the twenty days, but lo, Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me, and I remain with the king of Persia. Now I come to make her understand what shall befall the people in the latter days, and for the vision in the many days. And when I had spoken such words unto me, I set my face towards the ground, and I became dumb, and behold, like the similitude of sons of the men, touched by our loves, then I opened my mouth and spake, and said unto him that stood before me, O Lord, O my Lord, for the vision of sorrows that turned upon me, that I retained no strength. For how can the servant of this my Lord talk without my Lord? For as for me, strike away, there remained no strength in me, neither is there breath left in me. Then thou came again and touched me, one like the appearance of man had strengthened me, and said, O man, greatly beloved, fear not, peace be unto thee. Be strong, yea, and be strong. And when he had spoken unto me, I was strengthened, and said, Let my Lord speak, for thou hast strengthened me. Then said he, Knowest thou wherefore I come unto thee? Now will I return to fight with the prince of Persia. When I go on and gone forth, lo, the prince of Garcia shall come, and that I show thee that from this is noted in the scripture of truth. There is none that holdeth with me these things, but Michael, your prince. Chapter 11, also, I in the first year of Darius and the Mede, even I stood to confirm and to strengthen him. And now will I show thee in the truth. Behold, there shall stand up three kings in Persia, and the fourth shall be far richer than all, and by his strength, through his riches, he shall stir up against the realm of Gracia, and a mighty king shall stand up, and that shall be the rule of the great dominion, and do according to his will. And when he shall stand up, his kingdom shall be broken, and he shall be divided towards the four winds of heaven, and not to his posterity, nor according to the dominion which is ruled, for his kingdom shall be caught up even for other things. Those and the king of the south shall be strong, nor the princes shall be strong above him. And have dominion, and his dominion shall be a great dominion. And in the end of the years, they shall join themselves together, for the king's daughter of the south shall come to the king of the north to make an agreement, but she shall not return the power of the arm, neither shall he stand nor his arm, but if she shall be given her, and they brought her, and he beget her, and he strengthened her in these times, but out of the branch of the roots shall one stand up in his state. And they shall come up with an army, and shall enter the fortress of the king of the north, and shall deal against them, and shall prevail, and also carry up captives into Egypt, their gods and their princes, with the precious vessels of silver and gold, and he shall continue more years in the king of the north. So the king of the south shall come unto his kingdom, and he shall return to his own land. But his son shall be stirred up, and shall assemble a multitude of great forces, which shall certainly come and overthrow and pass through. Then shall he return, and he shall be stirred up, even to his fortress. And the king of the south shall be moved with a core, and shall come forth and fight him. Even if the king of the north, he shall set up a fourth and great multitude, and the multitude shall be given into his hand. And when he hath been taken away, the multitude, his heart shall be lifted up, and shall cast down many ten thousands, but he shall not be strengthened by it. For the king of the north shall return, and shall set forth a multitude greater than the former, and shall certainly come after us, which years with a great army and much riches. And in those times there shall many stand up against the king of the south, also robbers of that people shall exalt themselves to establish the vision, that they shall fall. So the king of the north shall come and cast up a mount and take the most fenced cities, and the arms of the south shall not withstand, neither his chosen people, neither shall there be any strength to withstand. But he that cometh against him shall do according to his own will, and none shall stand before him. He shall stand in the glorious land, from which by his hand shall be consumed. He shall also set his face to answer, 
for the strength of the whole kingdom and not letting one go him. Thus shall he do, and shall give him a daughter of woman corrupting her, but she shall not stand on the side, neither be for him. After this shall be turned his face unto the arrows, and shall take many, but a prince for his own behalf shall cause the reproach offered by him to cease with him and his own reproach. He shall cause it to turn upon him, then he shall turn his face towards the force of his own land, but shall tremble and fall and not be down. Then shall stand up in a state, riser of taxes, and the glory of the kingdom. Within a few days he shall be destroyed, neither in anger nor in battle. Then the state shall stand up a vile person to whom they shall not give the honor of the kingdom, but shall come and peacefully and obtain the kingdom of my flatteries. And the arms of flood shall they be broken over them, overflow them from them. The floor of him shall be broken, yea, the prince of the covenant. And after the league made him with him, he shall work deceitfully, for the shall come out and shall become strong of a small people. He shall enter peacefully unto upon the fairest of places of province, and he shall do that which his father have not done, nor his father's fathers. He shall scatter among them the prey and the spoil. And riches, yea, he shall forecast his devices against the strongholds, even for a time. And he shall stir up his power and his courage against the king of the south of a great army. And the king of the south shall be stirred up into a battle of a very great and mighty army. But he shall not stand, for they shall forecast devices against him. Yea, they that feed a portion of his meat shall destroy him, and his army shall overflow, and many shall fall down slain. And both of these kings' hearts shall be to do mischief, and they shall speak lies at one's tale, but it shall not prosper, for yet the end shall be at the time appointed. Then shall he return into his land of the great riches, and his heart shall be against the holy covenant, and there shall do exploits and return to his own land. At the time appointed he shall return and come towards the south, but it shall not be as the former or as the latter, for the ships of the Chittim shall come against them. Therefore he shall be grieved, and return, and have indignation against the Holy Covenant. So shall he do. He shall even return, and have intelligence with them that forsake the Holy Covenant. And the arms shall stand on his part, and they shall pollute the sanctuary of the strength. They shall take away the daily sacrifice, and they shall place the abomination, and make it desolate. And such as the wickedly against the covenant shall be cut by flatteries. And by the people they do not, their God shall be strong in exploits. And as they understand among the people shall instruct many that they shall fall by the sword and by the flame, by captivity and by spoil in many days. Now when they shall fall, they shall be whole open with a little help, that many shall cleave to them the flatteries, and some of them will be understanding, shall fall with the tongue of them, and the purge, and to make them white, even to the time of the end, and because it is yet for a time appointed. And the king shall do according to his will. And he shall exalt himself and magnify himself above every god, and shall speak marvelous things against the gods of gods, and shall prosper till the indignation to be accomplished, for that is determined shall be done. Neither shall he regard the god of his fathers, nor the desire of woman, nor regard any god, for he shall magnify himself above all, and his estate shall he honor the god of horses, and a god of whom his fathers knew not shall be honored with god, gold, silver, and with precious stones and pleasant things. Thus shall he do in the most strongholds of a strange God, whom he shall acknowledge and increase of glory, and he shall cause them to rule over many, and shall divide the land for gain, that the time of the end shall fall the king of the south, push at him, and the king of the north shall come against him, like a whirlwind of chariots, and of horsemen, and with many ships, and he shall enter into the countries, and shall overflow and pass over. He shall enter into the glorious land, and many countries shall be overthrown, but these shall escape out of his hand over even Adam and Moab and the chief of the children of Ammon, and he shall stretch forth his hand also upon the countries. The land of Egypt shall not escape, and she who shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver, and over all precious things of Egypt and the Libyans and the Ethiopians, by his steps, by, by tidings out of the east and out of the north, shall trouble him. Therefore he shall go forth and right theory to destroy it, and early to make any many. And he shall plant the tabernacles of his palace between the seas and the glorious holy mountain. Yet he shall come to his end, and none shall help him. Chapter 12. And at the time Michael stand up, and the great prince, which standeth before the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, even one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life, 
and some to the shame and everlasting contempt. And they that be wise shall shine as the horrors of the permanent, and they that turn merry to the righteous as the sorrows of ever and ever. But thou, O Daniel, shut up thy words and seal the book even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge shall be increased. Then I, Daniel, looked and behold, there stood over to the one and the other side bank of the river, and the other side of the side of the bank of the river. And one said unto the man, cloth and linen, which was upon the waters of the river, how long shall be the end of the world these wonders? And I heard the man cloth and linen, which was upon the waters of the river, and was held up his right hand and his left hand unto heaven, swear by him that liveth forever, that shall be for a time, times like half which he shall be, have accomplished to scatter the power of the holy people, all these things shall be finished. And I heard that I understood not, then said I, O oh my Lord, that shall be the end of these things, and he said, Go thy way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. Many shall be purified and made wise, and tried, but the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. And from the time from this daily sacrifice shall be taken away, and the abomination that maketh desolate set up. There shall be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Blessed is he that waiteth and cometh to the understand thee, hundred and five, thirty days. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy wrath at the end of the days.